Good morning, we're back. Uh, this time I'm going to be a player. And we're going to talk about casino etiquette. Uh, which is the best way to enter and exit a game? Uh, what you need to know when you come up to the game, you need to understand where are the dice. There's two, two best times to buy in. The best time to buy in is when the puck says off. That generally means that the shooter is going to establish another point or it's going to another shooter. That's the premier time to buy in. The second best time to buy in is when in the middle of a hand, uh, which there would be a point established already. Now the dice are in the middle. Have your money in your hand. Know what you want to buy in for. Don't be fumbling around at the table and wondering, gee, how much do I buy in for? What's the minimum? Well, we know by walking up to the table that this table is a $5 minimum bet. So in this particular case, I want to buy in for $300. The dice are in the center, so it's not going to interfere with the other shooter. Lay your money in the cum, $300 in this case. The box man, the dealer will pick up the money and hand it to the box man. Okay, now you just seen me lay $300 buy-in on the cum bet, on the cum line, chips only. You cannot hand your money to the dealers. They will not take it. Uh, they will not, you can't give them chips. So they'll, they'll put your, they'll take your 300. The box man counts the 300, okays it. They'll send the chips to you. So in this case, I'm going to get $300 in chips, 200 in green, 90 in red, and 10 in white. I requested white um, so I can bet for the dealers. We'll talk about that later too. Put the chips in your rack. Assemble them however you're comfortable with. And before you put them in the rack, you need to make sure the count is right down here. Count your chips while the chips are down here so you know in your mind that you have the right amount of money. Because once you get them up here, it's almost too late if they make a mistake. Okay, now that you've received your chips, your, the count is correct, the dice are still in the middle, this is the time that you make your bet. So we're coming out for a point, so in this case, since the minimum is $5, I'm going to put a $5 chip on the pass line. Make sure the dice are in the middle when you make the bet. If the dice are out, in other words, going to a shooter, and the shooter has the dice in his hands, that's the wrong time. That's called a late bet. You don't want to get make late bets. We call it get your late bets in early. So the casino etiquette, the best for all the players involved, is to make your bets, again, when the dice are in the middle. That prevents you making bets reaching out when the dice are out, and all of a sudden the dice are in the air, they hit your arm, it makes a bad game, poor casino etiquette. And the players will jump all over you, and so will the the dealers because it just, just doesn't work that way. You need to have good casino etiquette and again make sure the dice are in the middle before you make your bets. Now that you've bought in, you know when to make your bets and you know not to stick your hands out when the, the dice are out. And also another thing we need to mention is if there's a situation, you don't want to get into an argument with the dealers or the box or other players. All that does is slow the game down, bad mojo for the game, uh, if you get into an argument with the dealer or the box man, uh, you're going to basically lose every argument. So the best thing is, if you're uncomfortable and you don't like that game, just color up and leave the game. But there's a particular way to color up. Again, if the dice are in the middle, or if a shooter has just crapped out and the dice are passing to another player, now is the time to color up. Color coming in. Remember, you can't hand them to the dealers. So what you'll do is you'll put them out here, color coming in, and generally the box man, if he's not ready for your chips, he'll take an off button. Throw me an off button there, Pablo. The off button goes here because sometimes they won't stop the game now. Another shooter could have the dice, but these bets are not working bets. So this depicts that the bets are off. And when the dice are in the proper position, then the dealer will grab the chips uh, and give them to the box man. He will count them out and then give you larger denomination chips. And again, they won't hand them to you. They'll put them here on the come. In this case here, there's 300 in chips. They would take the chips and they would give me back three black chips. There'll be three black chips, Pablo. So there's three black chips. The dealer 
is going to put them out here in the cum. 300, you pick them up. Bingo, thank you very much. Now you take three chips instead of 20 chips to the cashier's cage. And thank you very much.